Hello and welcome to the third episode of Happy Fish Documentaries. Uh, well this one's about neon tetras and glow light tetras. They're so similar. I thought they'd just have the episode the same. There's a glow light tetra there. What you just saw was a neon tetra, the blue and red one. The glow lights are, and the neons are very, both very peaceful species, if a bit too curious. Uh, they'll team up with each other and to to compete with to with other fish for food. They are very small compared to other fish, but the adults can get a little bit big. Not massive, but uh, well, not even sort of medium sized. Just big for a small fish, if you know what I mean. Uh, they are extremely hardy, which makes them excellent for starting an aquarium. And they they usually sold for like six for twelve quid or something so really not that expensive at all oh there's a neon again they also come in other species such as a uh, rummy nose which are yellow with red heads well red nose is really that refers to the name rummy nose and a uh, rosy tetra which is slightly bigger that you can see there at the back and uh, there's a black widow tetra, a white widow tetra, a uh, emperor tetra, a cardinal tetra, it's very nice, it's just a, like a neon but with more red and less white. In fact no white at all on the cardinal. Um, they'll accept flake foods, yeah, most people who keep them, if they keep them in a species tank on just on their own, will just feed them flake food because it's cheaper. But they will benefit from a... Uh, live or frozen foods, they like to hunt live foods and uh, they will extend their already very long lifespan and make them look shinier get away fighting fish uh, neons and glow lights can live for up to about 10 years though, although they're one of the smallest they're also one of the longest living species in the aquarium trade today uh, so yeah, this fish really doesn't have any disadvantages at all, apart from the fact that it will be eaten by uh, a lot of things. Angel fish, discus fish, um, platinum angels, pakus, piranhas, ruby sharks, pretty much anything will eat them. Well, if you keep them sort of nothing bigger than a dwarf garami or a Siamese fighter, you should be alright. Unless it's really aggressive, they, I say just don't keep them with angel fish or discus fish or anything I've already said. Uh, they'll be fine living with peaceful species because they, uh, although they can be a bit curious for their own good, they don't they don't deliberately interrupt the life of any other species. You'll see there's a corridor, albino corridor. It's not even aware that the tetra's there. So very nice to look at, as you can see. So they are worth having. Uh, we have had a tank before, which was a species tank for neons and glow lights. And we overstocked it because we didn't really know what we were doing back then. Uh, it was only a small tank and they all died. So, uh, yeah, just be careful how many you fit in one tank. So this is a 45 litre tank. So I could probably get like 30 into here maximum. But I wouldn't do that because it wouldn't be very fair on them being crammed with 30 other fish. Well, they probably live like that. Oh, they're chasing each other. They play the little games. They're very social animals. They shoal a lot, which is what these two are doing. I think that might be a mating ritual, actually, but you need Java moss in order to mate neons or glow lights. So they can live with anything that won't eat them. They'll shoal like this. You can see the three, ne three glow lights there. I currently have three neons, three glow lights. But, uh... Yeah, they're very, probably the best to start, best tropical fish to start with if you're approaching from the goldfish direction. Obviously, if you're approaching from the marine direction, you can keep pretty much anything because you already know it. See, they even shot into species, neons and glow lights, like that. So, uh, water parameters really don't matter with this fish. They've survived lots of uh, breakdowns of water in this tank and... Uh, temperature fluctuations and so on, they're really not that bothered at all. Uh, like you can get other fish like the Siamese fighter that's really finicky and not hardy at all, whereas these are the these are the kings of being hardy and tough. 
they're just just the best by a long way the other hardy one of course is platies well, I have got some platies in there somewhere that are home raised you see a little orange dot in, dot in the background is a platy, baby platy nearly fully grown anyway back to neons so uh, that's a neon in the background there I'll see if I can get a, another shot of the shoal before we go uh, yeah, that's just about it. Tune in next time.